All right, first question, did everybody get a canvas bag? Okay, if you did not, go out to the front and get it by the door. Um, we are joined again by Lisa Mannion. I know she was up here yesterday um, checking in with you guys, making sure that you could be disruptors for life by practicing good self-care. And so we're really excited to have her back for this session. She's going to kick off the whole afternoon, which is going to be totally different and totally cool. And there's no one better to do that than Lisa. So thank you, Lisa. Thank you. It's my honor. It's so great to see everyone here today. I am so excited that all of you disruptors have returned. And we're going to talk again today about you and about your influence, because that's what we all have here. So did you practice self-care last night? I know one of our presenters did the fun online poll. She's far more tech savvy than I will ever be, probably. And so I know a lot of you did, and I'm glad, because it's so important to really settle into yourself after you've been participating in something as important as this. Because we have to fortify ourselves and we have to build ourselves up in order to give back. So I just want to acknowledge each of you for being here. It's so incredible to see everyone here in the, off in the I was going to say in the office, in the audience. <laughs> this is sort of my office, I guess. Um, so we're going to do some self-celebration. Because you all showed up again, and I know that not everyone did, some people didn't make it back, and it's a heavy topic, I get that, but this shows your commitment and your dedication and your resilience and your ability to come together as a community to really face hard topics. So the fact that you're here says a lot about you. You can give yourself a hug or a high five or your table mates if you're comfortable with touch, completely up to you, but I want you to just celebrate what a big commitment it's been here to be with us for these two days. It's a big thing. And we're going to go a little bit deeper and celebrate each of you even more. We want to talk about your unique gifts and the talents that you have and, you know, what, what those gifts are. And sometimes we don't always think about that, right? We don't always, I don't know about you, I'm just going to call myself out. I am my own worst critic. I'm harder on myself than anyone else. And so to pause and think about, you know, what are those unique gifts that we have? It's really, really important. And before we dive into all of that, this is a very important message. I want you to let this sink in. You are worthy because you are. Period. You don't have to do a lot of really amazing, incredible things. You were placed on this planet because you have inherent worth in every single thing that you do. I first heard this quote, and it was a quote from Neil Donald Walsh at one of his spiritual retreats. And it really struck me because it made me stop and think about how hard I'd been on myself and how we sometimes are always striving to accomplish the next thing or to do all of these things outside of ourselves that really have no impact on the worth we have as an individual because the truth is we are worthy because we are. So thank you for being here. And with that, we're going, we're going to take a little bit of action. And it's going to be a lot of fun, actually. I'm going to ask you to pull out your phones again as well. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to reach out to some people because we're going to be doing some exercises to identify our gifts. And if, like me, you don't always know what those are because you're sometimes on autopilot or you just take what you do for granted, or it comes naturally, or sometimes maybe it's a challenge to do things, but there's always something that we're doing or some gifts that we have that our friends and our family and those people that are in our sacred spheres of influence see that we don't see. So what I'm going to ask you to do is take a peek at the um, screen. We're going to text up to five people in our phone, and you can use this as a... Um, as a guideline, I'm going to skip ahead here in a moment and there'll be an actual script for you, but get that out, open up your texting app, and think about at least one to five people that you can send a text message to to get some insight on your gifts. And here's a pro tip. When I pull the script up, you can edit it and you can modify it as needed, and you can also copy and paste that text so you don't have to sit there attempting to retype it. And why do I say that? I've done that myself before and thought, wow, I could have saved some time. So 
Let's go ahead and do that real quickly. And what's going to happen while well, you're, you're going to text, send this text, let people know you're at a conference and that you're identifying your unique gifts, ask what three words they might use to describe you or some things that they think you're really good at and ask if they can get back to you ASAP because I'm going to have you identifying some of these on your own here in a moment. But it's always good to get that outside reinforcement and that reflection back, because sometimes we just don't see our gifts. And I know for a fact that each of you in this room has a very unique gift. You're here because you have compassionate hearts and an interest in community and a dedication to change. And right there, there are some things you can write down. So let's go ahead and have you, oh goodness, did I just? There we go. Uh, send those texts. We're going to actually start a little bit of music here in a minute. And let me know if it's OK to move on from that or if you still need the script. I don't want to move ahead too quickly for anyone. So okay. it, looks like, it looks like you've got that. No. Nope. nope. Oh, sorry. Going back. OK. Keep me on track, people. <laughs> Once you've sent the texts, and while we're waiting for some responses, we'll be pulling out our I'm a Disruptor journal. And inside the journal, you will be asked to write those gifts and those talents and those things that you can share with the world to contribute. So I'll give us a little bit more time to get those, get those scripts typed in so you can copy and paste and text away. We said to use, to send it up to five people, and there's a little bit of a fun fact. I call it the fabulous five or the fantastic five because there's five people that I know of that I can count on in one hand that I can reach out to at any given time. And not everyone has that, and I want you to know that it's taken a long time to develop that. And so even if you start with one, perfectly, perfectly fine because it takes time to build those relationships, and we've all met new people here and maybe we're going to get a little bit closer because we're all here to come together for this common cause. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next screen now. So go ahead and keep, you can keep texting and doing, copying and pasting and doing what you need to do. And let's start looking at your gifts, the things you know you're really good at all of those things that you contribute to in the world. And the things, they're, they're just, you know, they're skills, they're talents, and sometimes you might even not, not even think that they're that big of a deal. But I assure you, they are. So as you are thinking about this, we also have some journal prompts for you. I'm going to go ahead and put those up. So as we're waiting for those texts to come in, here are some journal prompts. So you can start thinking about when the last time was that you were really proud of yourself? When did I feel really helpful? What do I love doing that I am really good at? What are my gifts and how can I contribute to the world? And how do I want to give back and make an impact? What are my values and what's really important to me? And what did my friends say about me during the text activity? What, sur what surprised me about that and about what my friend said? So we're going to take a few minutes and play some music to allow you to go into these journal prompts. I see some people taking pictures of them. I'll leave them up for a while, too. But you might want to snap a picture of them on your phone and keep them for later. If, you, if you're not a super fast writer, that's totally fine. And we're going to start that music, and we're going to give you a few minutes to journal, and then we're going to move on to really kind of harvesting those journal entries to pull out some of those gifts. As you're jotting down some of your thoughts around that, know you'll have time to journal more about this and more deeply go into this more deeply as you're processing everything that we have heard and absorbed during the conference. We're going to keep things moving because we have several really cool activities for you, OK? And we're going to take action again. And um, this time, what I want you to do, and we're just going to take a couple minutes for this, is when you are writing in your journal, um, 
think about some of those talents that really struck out to you and thought, and you thought, wow, that's a really cool thing that I do, and I could be using this to help others. What might that be? You know, what does that look like? Because we're going to take some of your essence words, and we're going to create something really fun for you. And this is where the actual canvas bags come into play. So it is time to create. Grab that bag that you were gifted. And inside the bag, you're going to find a couple of really cool things. You're going to find a box of crayons. And we're going to want you to use those crayons. So pull that out first. And you're probably going to have to empty your bag, by the way, because you will be drawing on your bag, just so you know. <laughs> and you'll actually be able to see all your great goodies that are in there. I guess we probably should have let you know you needed to empty your bag in advance, but you know, now you know. So on the screen you will see there are some ideas that we came up with for you, for you to look at in case you didn't identify your own perfect gifts and unique gifts that you can borrow if you'd like. And what we're going to do is we're going to have you start coloring on your bags and decorating your bag with your gifts. You can doodle, you can write down key phrases, you can do whatever you want. And I want to tell you the significance. First of all, these bags are reusable. And when you draw on them with your crayons, you'll be able to actually um, You'll be able to follow the instructions, and when you get home, you can iron that in so that it's more permanent. And you can use these bags in a, in a variety of ways. And I know it sounds maybe kind of silly. Some of you are, are kind of holding back. I don't see you doing it. But there's something very important about using tactile skills to anchor in information. And your gifts are some of the most important pieces of you that likely do not always get the acknowledgement that they deserve. So be sure to write them down. I'm gonna go back just briefly to that list. You know, in, in case you didn't come up with some ideas, there's knitting, make, making people feel welcome, musicians. I mentioned tech school, skills earlier. There's all kinds of things that you could be doing. You might be good at paperwork. You might be able to give someone a ride. You might be able to, I don't know, cook or prepare some meals. There's so many things that you can do. You might be good at finances. I love the numbers people in the room. I'm not one of them. And <laughs> the welding, you could, maybe you're a welder. I'm not one of those either, but hey, that comes in handy. You might be able to build code or proofread. There's so many things. There's so many gifts. So go ahead and just practice on your bags. Put some information in there. And I want to tell you something else about these bags. These bags were donated by none other than the amazing and the incredible Janai, AKA Grandma Boom, who is at Booth One. And <laughs> these reusable bags are used for a bunch of different things. I'd love to see them all decorated and see a bunch of you locals at the local farmer's market with them so we could say, hey, I know you. I know where that bag came from. But beyond that, Janai is able to provide these bags to your organization. So if you have an organization that wants to do some type of an event that would, would include often children, because she does a lot of work with children, decorating the bags and learning about recycling and having things being reusable, go and see her at booth number one, because she can get you those bags for your organizations. And they are free of charge. So talk to her more about that in depth. She's doing really incredibly incredible work there. Okay, so keep decorating. Some of you are doing it, some of you are resisting, and that's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna publicly call you out. I'm just gonna observe from here. <laughs> and we've got some artists in the room, so I'm excited to see what comes up. I'm going to color mine later because I have to stand here and, and converse with all of you. But um, I think it's really, really important. And while, while we're doing this, you know, I just wanna again thank all of the sponsors here, everyone that made this possible. 
I want to again thank Deer Creek Vineyards for donating um, their resources to help us gift books yesterday. We are all coming together as a community to do what we can do. And the fact that you're back today after some really heavy duty information yesterday, again, I just want to celebrate each of you. I want to celebrate you and really let it sink in of how important it is that you're here. It's amazing. You're all amazing. And I'm honored. I'm just blown away also by the caliber of people in this room and the power of the speakers. And Tom's session was incredibly amazing. I have so many men that I want to share that with. So thank you. Thank you for all of that. As you're decorating your gifts, just be sure to give yourself a lot of love. Celebrate those gifts. Or I should say, as you're decorating your bag with those gifts. I realize I left some words out. That happens sometimes. <laughs> and just know that we're going to now put those gifts to use. It's time to connect those unique gifts that you have in this world with the incredible nonprofit organizations that we have in the room. So we're going to give you some opportunity to do just that, to move around the room, to take care of uh, business. And what I mean by that is talk to each of the people in the room, talk to your Organ the organizations that are here about what they're really doing and think about, you know, maybe how could I donate some time or give someone a ride or help write a press release or I don't know. There's so many different things and we won't know what they need unless we go and ask them. So that's really important too. Okay, everyone, we're going to start wrapping up our creativity and doodling because we have some more fun things for you to be doing. But I want you to take a moment to reflect on those gifts that you identified once again. And I can't reiterate this too many times because our gifts are gifts from the creator to us to give back to the community. And so I can't wait to see how by identifying these gifts and getting reflections back from the people that you can count on, I don't know, how you'll choose to use them in our community, what you might choose to do to help us with this amazing cause. <laughs>